Hello Pisces, welcome to Brilliant Jew Tarot and this reading is from 16th of October to 22nd of October. So let's check what are the messages for you and uh, what you can expect in this week in love. Messages for Pisces. Ten of Cups, Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands, The Sun, and Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so here we have Knight of Wands. This is someone who is unable to keep their words, they are unable to work on themselves they are unable to change something that they are supposed to change okay they might be repeating the same mistake they might be doing something that is unacceptable they might be flirting around this nine of wands is uh, someone who is um, fond of flirting and uh, nothing serious is there but this person is crossing the boundary again and again. And uh, the worst thing is that this person may try to defend themselves. They may try to defend their actions. Because I see this nine of wands here. This person may tell you that, you know, because of this, they did that. Because of that, they did whatever, you know, you're blaming them for. So... This person would find a way to give you explanations that doesn't make sense. But probably this person is going to tell you that it's only in your head. It's nothing real. You're overthinking and um, you are overreacting. This is someone who thinks that uh, things can work that way. Okay. Though we have this Ten of Cups here. That clearly means that this person is dreaming about a future with you. They are thinking about a commitment when it comes to having someone as a life partner, someone who would be by your side um, all your life. This person knows that no one can be better than you. This person knows that they need to be with you. That is what their subconscious is telling them. Ten of Cups is all about family, it's about commitment, it's about love. And... Um, this person wants that, but not mature enough to um, understand what they are doing to you. Not mature enough to understand that they need to correct something about themselves if they want a healthy relationship. This could be someone who is actually careless, okay? They think that Ten of Cups is going to stay. It's going to happen anyway. It doesn't matter what they are doing. They can always give you some explanation. They can change your mind. They can manipulate you. And they can keep on doing what they are doing. Because they don't want to work on themselves. They are not serious about it yet. We have this Wheel of Fortune here. With this Wheel of Fortune, this person knows how lucky they are to have you. This person knows what place you have in their life and uh, what influence you will have on their future. This person knows that they always wanted someone like you. Because the next card we have is of the sun. So the wheel of fortune turned and they met their own self. They met someone who was just like them. They met someone who was just like them but not uh, like their copy. It's like um, being a reflection of each other, but inverted, like completing each other. So this person is feeling that they have been looking for you all their life. You are perfect according to them. They are thinking about um, something serious with you, but not ready to remove something that they are supposed to remove or not ready to work on something that they are supposed to work on it's like Pisces they would expect you to ignore whatever they are doing okay 
they would expect you to um, um, not ask them to change their behavior they would expect you to close your eyes to the actions you don't like so things like that can happen and that can make you really upset okay of course this is a general reading this may not resonate with everyone the energy could be reversed as well also you can check your moon and rising sign let's go ahead and check some more masters for you The High Priestess, Seven of Wands, Four of Cups, Four of Swords, and uh, King of Wands. So here we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is about having intuition. The High Priestess is about knowing the truth. Pisces, this person feels that you know everything okay they might react uh, like you said something that is really disastrous or that is really wrong you shouldn't have asked them those questions how you can think in that way you are really insecure and things like that they might say such things but they would be quite surprised by how much you understand them how intelligent you are and um, how bold you are because you are speaking your mind you are opening up and you don't care about what other person would say or do with the seven of wands Pisces this person would try to run away from your questions they would try to avoid it they would give you all the excuses that you may not have even heard of and won't make any sense we have this four of cups here so this person would give you everything with the three of cups everything else seems to be perfect you would feel like this person is um, almost perfect but then you would feel that something that is really important for any relationship trust and serious commitment that is not there and um, with this four of swords you may feel like you're alone in this relationship like you are the one who is giving continuously and um, they simply don't care. They're not ready to be a loyal lover or they're not ready to change themselves. They are continuously hurting you or making you feel bad about yourself. You may feel like um, in spite of being in a relationship, in spite of being someone who seems to be ready for commitment who is thinking about ten of cups who thinks that you are perfect for them you are incomplete you are not ready for it because this person wants to be this king of wands they are addicted to their habits and uh, they're not going to leave it they're not ready to change anything and uh, they're not ready to accept their mistake even okay so let's check an oracle message for you Pisces intuition you hold the answers you know the truths ancient one awaits behind the doors of the mind so again with the card of the high priestess and the intuition it's very clear Pisces that you know all the answers already now it's only about trusting what you know now it's only about accepting what you know and uh, making a right choice you know more than you can expect or you can ever imagine your intuition is going to show you the way and one by one things will be revealed and you will be guided ancient ones await behind the doors of the mind so your ancestors are helping you your own soul is guiding you listen to your intuitions okay before making any choice because that could be a tough choice in this week so this is the reading for this week i hope you enjoyed it 
Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.